a business is really good. When you do your comparisons against 2019, uh, I look at sales more than profits, and the sales have just been, uh, well, kick you know what. I mean, I mean great. <laughs> Well, well, thank you very much for having me on the show. And yes, the, the second quarter was terrific. Uh, it's actually a sales trend that started back in mid-March. And to be honest, we thought it would be a, a bit more transitory. And we got through the end of March and then our first quarter and then our second quarter. And that sales trend of 67% against pre-pandemic levels has continued we're now a month into our third quarter, and it's continued yet one more month. So what? we're hopeful that this is a new floor. So I think what people uh, n might need to know about your company, if they're not familiar with it, is that it's not just fashion wear, or, or uh, it's really workwear. I mean, th there's a lot of workwear involved in your equation. Uh, but, but let's talk about what you did differently or what has been happening in the market to cause sales to go up that much of, of the kind of uh, Western gear, work gear that you sell. Why has why it gone up so much? Sure. Well, we've really been capturing market share. So when COVID came and really started to emerge in March of 2020, we took the position to keep the stores open. And because we sell that workwear, we were deemed an essential retailer. And that decision to stay open, continue to take care of our customers, not only really secure that relationship, but enabled us to bring even more customers into the Boot Barn brand. And once they were introduced to it, they, you know, it's unlikely that they'll go back to wherever they were shopping before. And you're right to call out that it's not really fashion. We sell Western and work, but most of even the Western product that we sell is used for a functional purpose. Our core customers out there working sometimes on a ranch or a farm but they're working in blue jeans and cowboy right. boots or in Carhartt jackets and and work boots. And in either case, they uh, they work through that product. And when they need to replace it, they come back to Boot Barn. Jim, it's Kelly here. I'm curious what you thought when you saw Amazon's miss for the quarter and its kind of weak guidance. Is there anything that you as an expert, as a rival in some sense, would say about whether they are facing unique challenges? Are they are they losing market share? Um, or is this an industry-wide problem? Well, well, thank you for the question. I'm not sure Amazon views us as a rival just yet. But <laughs> that might take another couple of quarters. <laughs> That's right. I, I think um, what has happened is I think people are finally returning to brick-and-mortar stores. That's been our thesis for the last 10 years. And we've continued to invest in stores while also growing our e-commerce business and our omni-channel capabilities. So I think now that people are feeling a little bit more free from the COVID pandemic, they have the confidence to go back into a brick-and-mortar store and try product on, particularly in footwear and apparel. And I think the sort of outsized growth that Amazon had been experiencing will, will dissipate a little bit. And if you take it one step further and look at a lot of the direct-to-consumer brands out there, many of them are starting to open up stores because they are realizing that that's where most of retail is still transacted. And frankly, that's where they can actually make some real money and, and turn a profit. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.